Yo yo boys and girls, it's your boy Diversity here, back with another video, one I don't want to bring out really, but I have to just because of how disappointing, shocking, any word you can use to describe it, that's going on with this club during this transfer window, I have to bring this video out, but yeah, I hope you guys sit back and enjoy me ranting for a little bit. I don't know where to start with this video boys and girls, this has honestly been the worst month I think we've ever had as a club with within years of me supporting them. Yes, we might have had a month where we've lost all the games, got stuffed 7-1, 4-1, 4-0, 3-0, -0, but this about sums up how far this club has come in the last year. Last year, we were promised by Ron Martin we would never be in this situation again, that Southend would never be in a relegation scrap again for, I don't know, he didn't give a time period, but I'd hope for at least a couple of years, and look what's happened. He was right. He was actually right on this part. We're in a much worse situation now. We are second bottom, we have got Bolton right on our tail. Bolton, who are bottom and are minus 12, are within three points of us, and we're literally surviving by a thread. It's, it's just so bad to see as a club, as anyone who just even watches me who isn't a Southend fan, it's just so painful. And as a Southend fan, like I don't know where to go with this anymore. It's just so shocking. For starters, we've not brought in a single player. Not one player. As I said, Bolton were on minus 12 behind us. They're now within three points and they have brought in nearly a whole squad this January. They brought in talent, they brought in youth, they brought in experience, they brought everything in that could probably sit up, put us rock bottom in a couple of weeks. And we've brought in no one. We've let go eight or nine now. I'll have to double check the official number. But like, what's going on? Yeah, yes, we're second bottom, but this is our time to be attractive place to stay up. We were promised back in, I think it was December or November, I'll put a quote somewhere here, by Ron Martin saying, we will make six or seven signings, three or four will be cash signings, two or three will be loans. It is now, I'll be, it is now January the 30th at 10 o'clock, and we've signed no one. Zero. Like, literally, we've let go eight or nine. That includes Cox, one of our most consistent strikers over the last few years. Yes, this season hasn't been his, but still, reckon it's a bit harsh on him. And now he's gone out to Australia. Hopper, I can understand if he has a relegation clause in his contract, because we'd have to sell him for nothing. But I'm sure he would have been up to stay for us and give it all he could for this. Who else has gone? Bishop has gone to Man United. That I really don't understand. I mean, he's played 17 games, conceded 60 odd goals. Yep, that's not the best record. Yes, we don't have the best defence in the league at all. But still, why, why Man United? I get you want to progress. He's going to go to the under-23s, where he could be playing league games, even though we're a bad team. I really just don't get that logic behind that. But no, boys, I just don't know where to go with this. I'll leave a list here. players who have actually gone because I'm actually trying to remember if you know I remember Ridgewell <laughs> don't go there he's still here he's being paid weekly he's paid 52 minutes of football and he's still here and being paid weekly what well, why have we not got rid of him why has something not just been said like terminate we've got money off Hopper why not just get rid of him yeah we'll use a bit but it gets rid of him it gets him off our case we save money for the next few months I get what we're trying to do but at the same time, it's stupid. We've let Kidd and go out to America. He doesn't want to be here. I reckon he was one of the last to be paid. I do not blame him for wanting to go. If you're not paying on time at any job, you don't want to stay. You just, yeah. It's just so hard to watch this club fall. Ten years ago, we had a similar situation where there were riots, protests. People weren't turning up to games. I feel this could be another one of those. I don't think we're going to go down the Berry route. The Berry route was a lot worse. I just think somehow we can maybe turn this around but it will take a lot of time now on to the main point of this video boys the, the bit you've probably been here for you've been seen in the title and everything ron martin out there has been this going over twitter instagram facebook and i've been reading every comment about it just thinking giving my idea my view on it and i 100 percent agree now Sol has quoted in some when he was questioned can i make any well will any signers be coming in he says my hands are tied I can't control what happens. We had a few targets, but now they're gone. Now, who decides these targets? Ron Martin. He is the guy who decides if we bring them in, if we sell them, if we loan them. We've brought in no one. Sol has had targets. He has probably told Ron, 
Sol is as confused and as probably frustrated at this job as any fan watching on. But Ron Martin has not let anyone come in. He's let all our, I'd say, more better players from the team go with some money coming in, saving wage, and we brought in no one. We could have loaned a championship guy, maybe even... We, we were linked with the Macclesfield cam. I, f I can't say his name, I'm not going to try it. We were linked with someone from Macclesfield who Sol used to manage, and we can't even bring him in, a League 2 player. Yes, there's no offence to him, he's probably a really good player and all that, but still, the, it shouldn't cost as much to buy him in, and his wage wouldn't be much more up. I imagine in League 2 he's not being paid as much as League 1. So I don't get it, we're linked with all these players. I've shared them on the Twitter, make sure you hit up the Twitter. I've shared players we've been linked with, and none have come through. I've literally... There was something in close talks, finalising, and nothing happened to them. Nothing. Now, I get we're not the most attractive team. I get that part. We're second bottom. But this is just beyond... Now, this is beyond stupid. 31 days we have to sign people. We have about 12 out, 24 hours left. Um, someone might come in. I hope they do. One person would even be better. We need defenders. We're, li we're low on them. We're low on strikers. We need something in urgently to lift this team we need new phrases fresh legs even if they're not the best player look what happened to Baldwin they didn't have a great start they had a few weak players in there and look then within three points they're probably going to get out of relegation it's just so stupid to watch our club fall apart from the back rooms and that just affects us on the field it affects the confidence yes we've been playing a bit better lately we lost 3-1 to Doncaster not bad but still it's a loss we beat Accrington Stanley we thought that was it the worm has turned we're going to go somewhere we've gone nowhere we're back to square one yes the result against Doncaster like I said was good and now we've got Lincoln coming up with Tom Hopper against us so yeah I imagine Hopper's in a much better team right now a much more financial better structured team than South End right now but no it's just I don't know what to say with this video I'm just so confused with saying all this I never thought I'd say this in a transfer window for us I had someone private message me on Instagram saying where do you see the club going now after this horror show of a January and to be honest I hope this is a big plan for summer. I hope we're going to do what Paul Stoic almost did to us many years back. He rebuilt a team he brought in, I think it was 11 or 12 new faces on a cheap fee, cheap wage, and we got to a Wembley Cup final in that year. You know, that was impressive. That was really good of us. I think and I hope we're planning for that again. I really do. We're just waiting for summer, people to get kicked out. They've been... Ron's made the excuse saying, January, you have limited players to buy. Many don't want to move. I think we've made plenty of good signings before in January, but I hope this is a summer plan for Sol to write down some names, if he's still here, if he's not frustrated enough with the backroom staff. I just hope he stays. He's turned the positivity around in that camp of boys so easily. He's made us look better on the field than any other coach this season. So I hope he stays around for summer, just to hope we bring in some new legs, some new players, Anything that will help lift this club. We need something because the fans, is, I'm going to Lincoln this area and I can see it being very toxic in that ground. Mark my words. So boys, before I go too far here, I'm going to wrap up this video because I feel this is going a bit too over the edge a bit. But I will be at this Saturday's game for Lincoln, of which I hope there is a good crowd, a good turnout just to get behind the team. Yes, we're in a bad rot, but I cannot encourage fans enough to support the team. Like, we are in a really bad stint. We've not signed anyone. We're second bottom. We've got probably the worst amount of goals conceded, I think, in all of the leagues that exist in England, maybe. I'll have to check that. But no, I encourage all the fans just to go Saturday, any football, any South End game coming up, just to support the players and try and get behind them. This is not me. This video is not about me trying to boycott the team or give up on it. I will be there for as many as I can. I just hope some fans of mine and South End fans can also continue to support the team through everything that it's going through so far but anyway boys i'm gonna wrap up here i've been diversity and guess what boys peace